Today I've decided I'm going to go to the Peak District again. Got my bag already packed up. And this time I'm remembering to take the lead and the poop bags. So now I'm starting to think, is there anything else I'm forgetting? Um, hello? Good morning guys, how you all doing? I'm not really forgetting Harley. He'll not let me forget him. As soon as I start packing the car up, he'll be there. Can you hear that? He knows we're going out. That's why he's whining. I yeah, better not forget his towel. <laughs> Here I'm saying, I'm not forgetting anything. Towel. Yeah, I'm gonna go explore the Peak District again. I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna go yet. I just wanna try places that I've not been to before. I'm just gonna drive around park up wherever and explore it because it's a nice sunny day it's not warm yet it's still a bit on the cold side but there's no wind there's no sign of rain anywhere what <coughs> oh, pest 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 he knows we're going out <laughs> okay okay shall we get in the car That's a definite yes. I've not even talked to the viewers much about what I've done over the past week, which is pretty much not a lot. Friday night, I was at Alex's house to look after her dog because she went out to some gig down in Milton Keynes and she was a bit worried about leaving her dog Nora by herself. So I said, I'm free. So I did that. Not really did much over the weekend. Oh, I saw Ellie yesterday. We only went for a, a coffee. Well, we went to McDonald's and <laughs> she had a meal out of coffee. It was funny though, we were talking about all sorts. And for some reason I got onto the or we got onto the subject of like romance and all that and I said to her, What is it that, that what that baby's called with wings and bow and arrow? And she went, Cupid. I'm like, yeah, that's the one. I completely had a brain fart on that. <laughs> On Friday, I also went for a run with Joe. Two runs in a week. I struggled on that one though. Like after five miles, I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm aching. My legs, they were just getting like tighter and tighter on muscles. And I felt like they were gonna cramp up. I'm okay now though. So I'll probably run again this week at some point. Just not today. All right, I'm gonna put the stuff in the car. And hopefully not forget something. Can you hear him? <laughs> I was coming down near the Longshore Estate, which is just up there, and I realised I've never walked all the way up here and then up that way. I've been around other places, Higato's over there, Stanny Judge is behind that. Um, I have walked down here before, but we've got as far as just the other side of this bridge so yeah I'm gonna wander up there see what's up there have a little explore around and maybe I should get my whiny dog out of the car first so I've made it to the place called Aulato there's a sign down there saying that all of these rocks right here just walked I've parked down there, so I've walked all the way up here. Nice view. But uh, I'm going to keep going that way somewhere. Maybe try and get to that up there, whatever it is. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, Mr. Winer is still whining to keep on going. We are going to keep on going. I'm going to go that way. Okay. Just want to get some more pictures. Yeah, I've been getting quite a lot of pictures. On the way up. Oh look there's a swimming pool right there. <laughs> Maybe I can dunk Harley in it after he gets muddy. Give him a little bath. You'll hate me for that wouldn't you? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get a few more pictures and then head that way. So I've made it all the way up here. That rock I was looking at is over there. Some more there but I've come to here. <sighs> See all of Hope Valley. There's Hallisage and that road 
goes all the way down through that village and on towards I believe that might be Hope and a bit further on will be Castleton it's beautiful <laughs> oh, he's wanted to keep going aren't you? you can't keep going that way <laughs> we've got to go that way just come through the gate to look at the edge I'm going to get a few photos Apparently this is called Millstone Edge. There's a sign at the bottom saying that. I'm assuming all of this is it. In fact, I'm gonna probably head up to where they are. Maybe get better photos up there. It really is a beautiful view. I'm also noticing in the distance, clouds and they're sort of coming over the mountain tops. But they're not over here <laughs> for now. Definitely need to get a photo of this. I'm at the top of the world. <laughs> Up here on these rocks, I've had to leave Harley there because it'd be too precarious for him to climb. I've walked all the way up here so I can get a better view of this. I don't even know if you guys can hear me for the breeze. But I'm uh, keeping an eye on those clouds way over in the distance, this sort of going that way but creeping over this way a little <sighs> and there's that rock I want to go see so I'm gonna go back down that way oh, I can just make out my car in the pile of cars on the road there <laughs> oh yeah see where them cars are that's Stanley Judge right there I can't believe I've never come up here before Ever. But that's what I've decided to do, explore more of the Peak District. I need to get back down there now because my hands are starting to freeze. <laughs> okay, so we're now down at this place. And according to Google Maps, it's called Mother Cap. I've just seen somebody there, so I think I'll be able to get to it or go up it a bit on the other side. Already been around getting photos, so I'm assuming you can. I saw him up there and then I saw him pop out down here, and I'm like, oh, right, okay. But you can still see Longshore Estate right there. It's, it's massive. <laughs> I, I bet he came down here. Let's have a gander. Yep. Let's have a climb up here, dude. been lucky so far that despite the cold weather this morning there's been no slippy rocks. He just walks up. <laughs> I'm assuming he's climbed up there. Yeah you're gonna have to stay down here dude. I'm gonna go up there on my own okay. You stay here. I'm pretty sure this is as far as I can go. <laughs> Where's he gone? Oh he's there. Hi Holly. That's got to be another photo opportunity. I'll do that in a minute. Wow. Still can't believe I've never wandered around here. I've wandered along that trail before. And up there and yada yada. Along those cliffs. But never on this side. <sighs> Just shows that there's so much more to explore in the Peak District. You know, I reckon I could climb that. I'm not going to though. Because I'm starting to get hungry finally. What time are we on? Yeah, it's way past dinner time. So I'm going to perch myself on one of these rocks. Maybe that one. And have something to eat. I have to admit though, it is tempting to try and climb it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to do that. I've got a feeling. Are you hungry as well? You want some treats? Would you like some treats? He's like, just get down. <laughs> Such a bossy boot. Oh, back of the car now. I reckon I've walked roughly three miles, two and a half to three miles, something like that. 
and we've just got back I've had to open the windows because it's very warm in this car isn't it Harley dude <laughs> you'll want some water again I do as well anyway I'm gonna drive this way and see where it leads me so I decided to go one way then another way and you know I thought I was getting myself lost and before I knew it I was heading here to Buxton so I thought why not come visit <laughs> I could take Harley in some of the shops so I thought why not been a while since I've been here I can't remember when the last one was I think I was here with Joe and Archie I think maybe uh, anyway he's doing his little whiny thing so I better get him out and then go and do a bit of shopping mm. I'm at the other end of the shops been in quite a few but I bought nothing other than a bottle of pop I've realised something I've never gone up there before so that's what I'm going to do now take Carly up there because every shop we've gone in whine 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 because he wants to keep walking so I'm going to take you up there now there's a heck of a lot of charity shops which I've been looking at DVDs in and there's also CEX but I think caught my eye that I wanted I have that I've already got it oh he's stopped whining now he's on the grass let's go up here yeah Yeah, I've definitely never come up here before. I guess this is the centre of Buxton. Huh. Well, there's a pond thing over there. Never knew that were there. I'm going to go check it out. Okay, so this place is apparently called the Pavilion Gardens. Got this big pond. There's a miniature rail track. There's a kids park over there. Huh, it's quite pretty. I'm gonna get a few photos and then start heading back to the car because the sun's, well, it's gone down, as you can probably tell. And I can feel the temperature starting to drop. I've also noticed, in fact, I could just make it out through the trees. The moon is coming up, the full moon, in fact. Definitely starting to get colder now. Oh, there's the train. Right there, look. <laughs> I've enjoyed today. It's time to go home now. And then probably have a cup of coffee. I'm a little bit tired. Oh, it took me that long to get home. I'm not going to be having a coffee. It's now tea time. I'm hungry. So I'm going to do that first. Maybe I'll have a coffee later. I don't know. And he managed to buy, well, make me buy him something. As we were walking back through the shops, we noticed, or should I say, I noticed, <laughs> that there was a charity shop I'd not been in. Still didn't buy anything. But there was also a pet shop, so we went in with him, and he sniffed out, let me show you, these sausages. He loves them. To be honest, I think he's already got some. <laughs> I'm going to give him his tea first before I give him any of them and then I'm going to have my tea. Oh, I'm worn out though, I have to admit. Anyway guys, I'm going to sign off now like I say, I'm, I'm hungry. I need to eat and sit down and rest. But yes, it's been a fantastic day. All that's left for me to say now is thank you for watching and subscribing if you have and liking this video if you did. Until the next time, peace out. I have to do it at least once. There it is, Let's zoom in, and is it going to focus through the window? Come on, you can do it. There we go. It's the moon. <laughs>